Welcome back to another episode. I'm going out to adventure and you're coming with me, so let's go. So last time I did a trail run, I got a bunch of blisters on my toes, so taping them up today. And of course, cannot forget the sunscreen because I'm white as flip. <laughs> and of course, cause we're running, we got the headphones. the trail I usually like to walk the first little bit of it just to get the blood flowing get a little warm-up and then do a little bit of stretching after the warm-up and then uh, kind of get into some running a little bit as long as the trail is good enough for it looks like a beautiful trail so should be good for a little bit of running I don't even know how long this trail is but usually I just go until I'm tired and then I'll start walking again and then maybe run a little bit more once I regain my energy and then walk again. I kind of just do that in routine. <laughs> I don't claim to be a good trail runner or claim to be a professional trail runner. I don't even know what I'm really doing. I just know I like it, so. Spectacular. Okay, I feel like I've gotten a pretty good warm up in, a little walking. So uh, we'll get a good stretch in here and then we'll start actually trail running. And if you guys are curious as to what I listen to when I'm running, mostly house music because I just love the beats of the house music kind of just pumps me up just makes you want to move so that's what I love to listen to when I'm running is house music for sure got a good stretch in now we are ready to roll we'll just be heading along this and somewhere out there so let's see where the trail takes us <laughs> Yes, 
I did run by the camera and came back. I am that loser, but extra cardio, right? <laughs> There's Weaver's Needle peeking out. And then we go down here somewhere and up into that valley, I think. Okay, I've been running for a little bit now. So I'm gonna take a little walk and break. But look at these views. Weaver's Needle right there. Superstition Mountains. Beautiful. It is so beautiful out today. The sun is shining, flowers are blooming. There's a little bit of a breeze, beautiful views. It's just perfect right now. I'm so grateful, so humbled, and so blessed to be out here right now. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. Thank you, Jesus, for all this beauty, all this creation. It's all because of you, it's all for you. All the glory to you, Jesus. Hallelujah, amen. Oh, heck no. Can you see it in there? You can see it sitting in there. That is a heck no for me, man. Oh my gosh, I hate spiders. <laughs> I am out of here. <laughs> when the trail gets like this, super like overgrown and grassy, this is when I stop running and start walking, turn off my headphones and just listen for a rattle. <laughs> because the last thing I want to do is step on a piece of grass with a snake in it. So, and I saw a snake right in here earlier on my way out. No, thank you. Nope. I don't want anything to do with snakes. I hate snakes. Okay, after a bit more running, uh, I think I'm gonna turn around here. There's a cool view of Weaver's Needle. Um, this trail continues up into that and then it keeps going all the way up to like Peralta Trail, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I'm getting thirsty, so I think I'm gonna turn around. Um, I'm probably about three miles in here, so still gotta run back another three miles. Lots of bugs out here too, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, so we still got a cool view of Weaver's Needle, which is nice and a uh, beautiful day. But I'm gonna start turning around because I'm thirsty, like I mentioned. Head back to the car, get some water, get some food, and uh, we'll call it a successful trail run. My battery on the GoPro is about to die. I did not bring a spare battery, so I probably won't be able to film much on the way back, but I'll see you guys back at the car. A little update. This trail is like a little loop, and so 
I ran in on the flat part, kind of like the trail run part. And then the second half of the loop, turns out, is up and over this mountain. So now I'm like hiking uphill. So we are definitely getting our cardio in for the day. I am a little bit winded. And I left my water bottle back where I stretched. Because I don't like to run holding like a water bottle and my t-shirt and stuff. So I just hide it on the trail. And so I got to walk back to get that. And right now I kind of wish I brought it with me. Because I could use a drink of water right now. We'll be fine. I'm just complaining. <laughs> There's also a vulture that's circling above me. Um, don't really like that. Not sure what that means. Not sure if he's thinking that I'm not going to make it or not, but I rebuke you, Vulture. Rebuke you. I'm finally back to where I left my water bottle. I've never wanted water more in my life than right now. It was so much further of a loop than I thought. I've gone like four miles without water, six miles without water. Oh yes, 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 yes. Cheers. Oh. Feels so good. Oh. <sighs> Woo! Finally back to the car. Got a bunch of water in me. Oh man, that was not good. That sucked. It's already chugged a bunch of water and now I just need some food because I haven't eaten yet today so got our cardio in it's survival mode now it's time for some grub so I'm gonna head back to town oh yeah I came home and made some protein oatmeal and bought some watermelon I cannot wait to eat this I'm so hungry it's gonna be so good As you can tell, it is now the evening. The sun is starting to set. And uh, I wanted to come out here and have a little bonfire tonight. So found this dirt road. Just gonna have a fire right here and just enjoy the sunset and then enjoy the stars. Call it a good Saturday night. Okay, it is hoodie time. I cannot wait for the nice stars out here tonight. It's a beautiful open sky. 
we're about 30 minutes outside the city so the light pollution should be a little bit lower and it should be a glorious night sky tonight might as well have a little snack we'll wait for the sun to go down Yet another beautiful night in the Arizona desert. Doesn't get much better than this. I love it. I just can't get enough of this stuff. <laughs> I love it so much, I'll never get enough campfires. <laughs> nice warm campfire, wide open night nice sky, tons of stars, cannot beat it. So I'm just gonna keep enjoying this campfire for the night and then uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more adventures. I don't know what yet, but probably some more adventures. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Abracadabra, I just did another time traveling magic trick. <laughs> it is Sunday evening now. Today has just been a really casual day for me. I got up, uh, did my reading in the morning, went to church, just had a super slow morning, just relaxing. Um, and then I played a little bit of golf, as you can tell by the polo. Not my normal attire, but this is my golf attire. It's good for me to have a balance of like normal life and adventure life. Like, like always being out in nature and camping and stuff, I love all that. But it's good to have a balance where I'm like just kind of hanging out in town or doing church or doing golf or just just doing like normal stuff. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.